Hi guys, welcome to A Clary Tale. My name is Claire, for those who don't know, and I have just returned from living and working in Florida for a whole year and did the Disney Cultural Representative Program. And I'm lucky enough to say that it was actually my second time that I've done it. Um, but I've actually done a load of other things to do with Disney as well that I always get questions about. So I thought I would do a video showing you my Disney career so far, and then I'll answer some of your questions uh, at the end as well. So, let's start. Uh, when I was at university in my, uh, well throughout university I knew a friend who had a friend that did the summer programs so I think it's called the cultural exchange program now the CEP and he would go every summer in between his uni year and for some reason I don't know why I didn't I think I just probably wasn't ready um but on my final year, just as I was about to graduate, I thought I'm going to apply because the summer that I finish university would be perfect to do the summer programme. So uh, it was back in 2011, this was, and it was when Yummy Jobs used to call you after your application, after they read through your application. So I had a telephone interview and I didn't get it. I was absolutely heartbroken. I remember crying, my room, uh, not roommate, but flatmate ran in and said like, are you okay? I was just a mess. Um, and then I discovered that they do a year program. So I was like, oh, even better. So I applied again and um, I got through to the final uh, interview and my final interview was actually the same day as one of my German translation exams so I remember just wanting to get the exam done because I wanted to go to Disney for a whole year and I got it so I found out May 2011 just before I graduated that I was going to be starting my first Disney Cultural Representative Program July 2012 so a whole year later so I was super happy obviously but then I thought what am I going to do in between this so while I was still at uni again it was May I looked up Disneyland Paris and this happened so quickly I sent my application form in and the next thing I know I had an interview in London um, and I found out in the next few months that I was going to be going that summer to Disneyland Paris. So my interview was, I don't really remember it to be honest with you, but I remember the end. The It was all in English and the very last thing she just said, it was two of us uh, interviewing together and she said to us, I'm just going to see how your French is. And she asked us like, what hobbies do we like? and um, pastimes and all that sort of stuff so it was all in French basically French uh, GCSE standard French I gave answers like, I like to swim and I like to read all that sort of stuff and I think they work out your French level as to where you should go in in Disneyland Paris basically so I got an email saying that that summer I was going to be working at Bella Notte in a restaurant it's a fast food restaurant and it's themed on Lady and Tramp and I absolutely loved it our little arrival group because you go through traditions and all that sort of stuff together in Disneyland Paris and I loved them. I was very fortunate. My roommate, um, Estonian girl, we were best friends. We're still in touch now. Uh, we were joined at the hip. We went out to sports bar and we were, we just had the best time. The job itself at Bella Notte, it wasn't the best job in the world. Um, I was putting, um, basically, on, you put, there's different positions. So you're on the till collecting people's orders, which was great because you get a lot of English people and they're <laughs> glad to hear an English voice sometimes. Um, and then you also put food on trays, which is monotonous, but it actually, it makes the time go so quickly. Um, so the job wasn't, you know, any brain work. You don't have to be <laughs> some sort of brain surgeon, um, but it was good and uh, if you did have a bad day at work, when you finish at six or whatever, you can go straight onto Space Mountain and realize why you're there and it just makes you so happy. The best thing about working Disneyland Paris is when you walk in, you go straight to costuming. When you finish your job, you throw all your costume back in. So you never see any costume outside of Disneyland Paris. It's all contained in Disneyland Paris. So once you throw that costume in, you were allowed to go into the park and that's what I did most nights honestly I know that sounds like 
I wouldn't like I'd go back home or something but if I finished early I would go into the parks and it just made me so happy and made me realize why I'm there anyway I did the whole summer on that it's called a say day day uh, it was a contrat determiné doré or doré determiné I can't remember now uh, but that sort of means it's a fixed contract and um which means you've got an end date so my end date came in September or October no September and then I did about seven or eight more say day days over Halloween and Christmas and um, February and um, Easter and anyway all right up until that start date to Florida. I worked in so many places in those seven to eight contracts. I worked in Bellanotte, Colonel Haitis, or Colonel Haitis, uh, Chalet de la Marionette, um, Pizza Planet, where else? Just all the sort of quick fast food services just worked in there then as my language became more fluent i worked in sequoia lodge and the, this was my favorite uh, job of my entire working year at disneyland paris working at sequoia lodge was hands down my favorite it was so good and um i think i was just more confident as well i could speak both languages and yeah i, I loved it and um then came July 2012 which was my start date for my first cultural representative program. My arrival group was amazing. I think your arrival group is so important because you are going through everything together so it's so important that you get on well and I've been very lucky with the, with my arrival groups. Um, best year of my life, met Simon, um, was on the bar, met my best friend Sophie who was my bridesmaid, just it was just perfect. I met friends for life and a husband. <laughs> when I got back, I got a month extension. Um, so that took me till August 2013. And Simon got a three month extension and he arrived after me. So he didn't finish until January 2014. So from August right up until the following May, I worked at the Disney store, which I absolutely loved. Uh, the only thing with the Disney store, there is one drawback and that it is very business minded so they want you to sell they want you to upsell they want you to um sell things at the till and add-ons and um to start with that concept's really difficult but honestly the more you do it the more you love it and the more you have competition with your friends and um see how many add-ons you can get and then you it's a business at the end of the day so you just got to accept it and i i loved it and with our Liverpool store, we have an amazing manager. He is amazing. And then um, everyone else as well. We just all got on so well. So I absolutely loved it. I still keep in touch with most of them now. Um, I was able to move up there as well. Went up on the ladder, became a senior. Um, so that means I had more responsibilities. I was cashing out, things like that. So loved that. Um, then by May... Simon and I, he was home by then and we got on our contract for Disney Cruise Line. We did one contract, we worked on the Disney Wonder and both of us were um, assistant bartenders on there. I did 14 weeks back and forth to Alaska, um, we went through Panama and then ended up in the Bahamas and then flew home. So that was that. Then after that we realised we need to stop sort of... <laughs> floating around I was gonna say <laughs> but I've just been on a ship no sort of you know it's very I've been doing lots of little bits and pieces so Simon decided that he wanted to focus on a career he started studying for his accountancy then and I got a job here just to be with him um, it wasn't like my calling in life the job I enjoyed it I didn't love it and we went on our honeymoon we got married went to our on our honeymoon and we went to Hawaii stayed at Alani all that sort of fun stuff and on the way back we went home via Florida we went into Epcot we met up with the big boss and she basically said if we ever want to come back just let her know so that plagued my mind the whole rest of the holiday and I ended up emailing her saying I really we've thought about this long and hard Simon is studying so doesn't uh, want to come out but I would love the opportunity if that's possible and it meant that I was able to bypass yummy jobs and she gave my email address the big boss uh, to Disney recruitment Disney recruitment interviewed me and I got it and um, I arrived 
February 2017 till February 2018 and it's now March and you're up to date. <laughs> So I have my computer here with all your questions. Um, I did get a lot of questions um, about Disney College Program, which I obviously can't answer because I wasn't on the Disney College Program, I was on the Cultural Representative Program. Um, and then there are a few questions that I've already answered by doing my little summary there. So Jen, I've answered your question and Katie Mason, I've answered yours as well. I love you guys, you two always comment on all my videos so thank you so much for that and um, so we'll start with this one um, Lucy Allen asks me um, how did you get to know your roommates where did they work so you just get to know them by being in the same room as them um, she was French she worked in the French pavilion she worked at Chef de France and then halfway through her year she went upstairs and worked at Monsieur Paul um, and yeah it was really good we I, we got on really well in the end um, we didn't uh, we just didn't get any in each other's way and we you just have to respect your who you live with because you're in the same space if you don't respect that then you know it's silly really you just got to respect each other's privacy really she also asks and someone else asks this as well um if you could work at any other country in Epcot what would you do well I'd work in Norway uh, because that restaurants they earn a fortune <laughs> and if I could work anywhere else in the whole of Disney I'd work on the Dumbo ride it means a lot to me I love their costume so yeah it would make me very happy <laughs> um, Eric Lane asks as a Disney cast member and a vlogger do Disney give you any guidance what you can and can't talk about so you sign a uh, oh what's the word there's some sort of oh I can't remember the word there's a word that means you can't talk about something um, so we sign that if there's something that we found out Disney cast members find out that no one else knows yet confidentiality there you go um, then we can't talk about it but I was only vlogging what I was doing each day, going into the parks as if I was on holiday. I never really went into depth about my day or anything like that anyway because I just didn't want to risk it. And to be honest with you, I had nothing bad to say. I never spoke badly about Disney because I had I never had a bad word to say about Disney. Like, it's amazing and you guys can see that from my whole year of vlogs. Um, how much I loved it. I remember someone asked me once if Disney pay me to say good things about them and I was like no <laughs> I just have I just have the best time ever and it's the best job in the world I don't need to I don't need to pretend. Morgan Lembach asks me what was your favorite part of working in Disney just the rose and crown on that bar best job in the world honestly loved it chatting to everybody and just it's just magic it honestly is the things you can do to make someone happy if there's a kid crying you can give them a little light or you can you can you can make someone's day by just having a laugh and the thing with the bar is that you could be you could be a bit cheeky with it as well and guests loved it so that was my favorite part um if given the choice oh so this question guests get got asked a lot would I do another program? So I've had this question a lot. I am not going to now. That I went into that second program thinking this is my last program. It was a bit like the closure that I needed and um, because between my two programs all I wanted was to be back there. So going back was my closure. That was my last program. I did everything I wanted to do. Um, I managed to save up some money and now I'm back with Simon and we're looking to buy a house. So no, I will not be doing another program, but I will be going back to Disney all the time. You know what, what I'm like. I love Disney far too much to not go there so much. Um, and Simon and I are looking to become DVC members in the future. So we're always going to be going back. <laughs> Claire Jeffries asks, oh, this is about the college program. Oh, sorry. I don't know about the college program. I'm so sorry. Here's another college program one as well from Leslie Chain. I'm so sorry. I just don't know about the, the college program. I know you have to. Yeah, I, I can't even guess. Sorry, guys. Oh, this is a good one. Naomi, what has been the biggest difference between the two programs? The two programs were very different because obviously I was a lot older on my second program 
I was able to step away from certain dramas and certain, you know, arguments or whatever. I just was a passerby really because I didn't need to get involved in it all and I didn't want to get involved in it all. I didn't go out much, whereas my first program, I went out a lot. Um, I think just being older, that was the main difference. Um, yeah, and I loved both. So the, there isn't a right or wrong way to go about it because my first program where I went out a lot, I made the best friends because of that. Um, my second program where I didn't go out that much, but I did more Disney experiences and I was able to save more. So it, there's pros and cons to all of it. Now, Scott the Wilderness Explorer has asked me 10 questions, so I'll just sort of quickly go through them. What would you say is the best housing complex? To be honest with you, they all have pros and cons again. I loved living at Vista Way because I put that down as my number one because I didn't want to have a bunk bed. Three people in one room is just a joke. So. Vista Way is great for that and it's great for its location. I used to nip out to Dunkin' Donuts, you can nip to Starbucks, all that sort of stuff. So Vista was, was great, but the program that I worked in, that I lived in Commons, I loved Commons as well. You can nip across to um, the mall, you can, the pool's nicer. It's just, do you know what? It's so, it, you just make it work. Whatever complex you get, don't get upset. Just deal with it because you you have to and you work out a way and you end up loving whatever you've got. So they're all the same, really. Um, was the transport easy to use? Yeah, buses just came all the time. It's not the best, it's just a bus, but you know, that's how it is. What holiday and time off are you allowed? Um, as long as you get it approved, you can have it off. Uh, I knew people that were having two weeks off and when I'd heard that you're not allowed full two weeks off, but it's all whether you can get things approved. Um, and if it, if you're hoping to be off during food and wine, no chance. But if you're trying to be off for January when we're quieter, then you'll get it. So it just depends on whether managers approve your time off. Um, do you wash your own costume? I washed my tops, uh, there weren't many tops in my size so I'd keep them uh, but I would use the company to wash my skirt. Um, are the local shops and supermarkets close to, to the housing complex? Vista has a Walgreens next door and it's 24 hours, it was amazing. Publix has, co um, Commons has Publix and actually Commons now has a little, um, like a, a little convenience store <laughs> inside is that what it's called he also asks what type of cast member only events do they offer there's loads of housing events that are cast members only that i didn't go to many i went to like um, i went to grocery bingo and you've got your starlit uh starlit i know it says starlight express starlit splash that's the one um you have that that's cast member only where they hire out typhoon lagoon it was amazing one of the best nights was your service and bar training assignment hard to study for oh yeah the the um service training was very difficult it's the hardest week that you will have uh, two weeks the hardest two weeks of the program is that service uh the service training it's grueling um long hours uh, lots of information Just coming from podium into service you're it's suddenly like easy to difficult it's just all new as well that it is difficult Apart from missing home, this is from Sean Harris, apart from missing home, what's the hardest part about CRP? And do you keep in touch with everybody um, who you got close to out there? Um, well, definitely for my first programme and still in touch with them, the, the programme just being on, I feel like I've not been gone long enough yet, but I've spoken to Craig, I've spoken to Ella, um, Ellie, who's still out there. So yeah, you do still keep in touch because you have that big thing in common, this programme, this whole year you have in, in common. Oh, Cindy and Kurt have asked me, when did you start having an interest in all things Disney? Well, my first trip, my first trip was when I was two years old and it was amazing it was life-changing and we thought we were never gonna go back again so my dad recorded the whole thing I've actually put a few of those videos up on this channel but they're very old and bad quality but if you want to see what it was like I've put up a few um uh yeah we loved it so we we went every two years after that first trip when I was two so I went when I was two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and then 
15 we bought the house the villa so from 15 onwards we went about twice a year i'm very lucky i know i i my parents have worked hard their whole lives to be able to to afford it and i i am so thankful i will never be able to thank them enough did you get to say farewell before leaving yes you say goodbye you have a big goodbye how did you get all your purchases back home <laughs> i had my mum my dad's suitcase full my mum's suitcase full my suitcase full um so yeah i managed becky hall lovely becky has asked me what was your favorite and least favorite part of your program favorite is just getting to do all the fun disney things that i've never done before things like wild africa trek and um, getting to do the backstage cast member tours they, these are all the things i really want to do because i knew that that this will be it and i won't be doing another program so i really wanted to make sure i did that um least favorite part yeah missing simon missing my family um i never wanted to be home but i would wish they were here so that was always hard christy schmelter has asked what made you decide to go back for the second time knowing simon wasn't going with you well i did sort of touch upon this he was studying and he we talked long and hard and it was the right decision i wasn't happy with where i was and i knew that i could do this earn money and it was perfect for the long run it's made it made me happy for the the now and it's made us both happy now that i'm home because we can now get our dream house <laughs> the adventures oh um what's the hours like working on the crp also if your husband and wife can you house together you can yes um but obviously he wasn't with me um <laughs> what are the hours like uh it depends really um you can kind of ask for more hours if you want you can ask for days off if you want you can ask to be sent home early the hours are are really lenient to be honest with you uh, once you pass service you're either an am or a pm an am shift is from 11 till about half three but you don't finish till about five or a pm is from half three until nine not finishing around till around 10 11 so that's that if i was on the bar you don't start till 4 30 um until about 10 and then if you're a bar am it's 10 am till about 4 30 josh fraser has asked why did i live in disney housing when my parents have a villa around the corner if you are an international program participant you have to sign that you are going to stay on disney property um obviously they don't check every night that you're tucked up in bed so i could have stayed in the villa but then i would have had to have bought a car paid for insurance paid for petrol staying at vista way i could just walk to the bus and go to work like that was it was easier really and i'm not a confident driver especially not in america so i just wouldn't have done that um, he also asks once you moved off podium did you manage to save money or did it fund your dooney and book addiction i love this question i did buy a lot of doonies i did uh, but i was able to save a lot as well irene irene's been with me from the beginning hi irene um my question is what would you recommend as an ideal length of a walt disney world holiday based on your experience three weeks i reckon that would be that's perfect irene also asks disney cruise line versus olani which one would you choose olani hands down uh natalie richardson we love your vlogs claire yay thank you um can you tell us how much disney pay per hour um so when you're on podium it's about nine to ten dollars an hour i think i can't really remember um once you pass your service test you then collect tips how good you are as a server is how well how much money you get um so i can't really say how there wasn't a standard um it just depends on on how many tables you get how hard you're working all that sort of stuff how much was living costs she says she asks um not too much i never went out for dinner that much after work so i didn't lose a lot of money there um grocery shopping was expensive it is in america um but other than that yeah it wasn't too bad i never felt short of money when i was there jazz has asked me did you know anyone at the t when you started your Disney program? I did know a few people, the second time around, yes, because a, a lot of people that did my second program with me 
were also on their second program so yeah i did know some people um just wondering if you have to be in education to work miss woods asked no you don't have to be in education to work for the Di for the disney cultural representative program for the college program yes and um, steph mills asks me um what are the rules on appearance hairstyle tattoos so yeah you can't you've got to be very sort of it's called the disney look so you can't have tattoos in places that will be shown in in, in your costume um so if you have any on your hands and things like that it, you won't be on food and beverage um things like hair it has to be tied back your makeup has to be quite plain um yeah it's called the disney look uh, Kim Duncan has asked me what sort of career were you in before your many Disney roles well I did I didn't have one I went straight from university to Disney she also asks did all CRP cast members in the UK PAV feel like a family or was it like usual workplaces no it felt like a family we were all the same sort of age we were all having a laugh together so yeah Poops Giggles asks me after being in CRP, do cast members still want to work for Disney or do you lose the magic? I I get I got the opposite. So finding out the like behind the magic made it more magical for me. So especially in Disneyland Paris actually, um it made it more magical and no, it would never put me off working for them. I really wouldn't. And last but not least, Sam N asks me, how easy is it adjusting to living abroad? Ooh, that is a good one. I think um, it's always gonna be a bit of a culture shock, but I think with America, it's so, like, everyone speaks English. You can find things if you're, It's it was easy. Uh, it was harder adjusting to, I lived in Germany for a year during my university years, and that was harder. Um, but yeah, moving to America, I'd been so often at growing up that it was already like home to me. Um, but tips for anyone, I think just get involved really, get involved with everybody and do things with other people and, and you'll, you'll fit right in. I've just had, a comment in asking me um it's sophie richards and she's going to be on the crp program in august yay that's so exciting i'm so happy for you um i was wondering if you could explain how banking and the money works when you're on the crp um so you get a prepaid bank card and um you basically get your wages to that and then your wages for your accommodation comes out sorry the cost of your accommodation comes out of your wages and um, however for my second program because I already had a partners account partners is a bank that you set up once you'll get start getting tips and stuff but I'd already had it set up so when I came to get my prepaid card I just swapped it there and then and got my uh, partners account in and my wages came straight into my partners account instead of the prepaid card um, but just use your prepaid card to start with it's so much easier and then three or four months in when you go into service swap your prepaid card to a partners card um, because you'll be saving a lot more money when you you're in service so it makes sense to have a proper bank account for that well thank you so much for watching i hope that i've answered the questions okay and thank you for your questions as well i hope you've now got a clearer sort of view of what i have been up to these past few years and yeah so make sure you subscribe and like this video if you liked it thank you so much for watching bye Maybe.